Okay, so in the last problem, we know that MC Hammer was doing better off with his 10 million uh, compared to, in 1990, compared to Jay-Z's 35 million in 2013. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take uh, MC Hammer's 10 million and inflate it into 2013 dollars. So what you're going to do, hopefully, or what you did hopefully, is you, uh, on one side, you put 10 million, like this, uh, and you compare, put that right over his CPI, which was 45, okay? Now, you're looking for what this 10 million is going to be worth down the road, so you shouldn't have put anything here except for an X, and down here, the CPI is 175, okay? And hopefully, if I set this up right and did this uh, correctly, we're going to get some good answers here. And my answers are 38,888,888, okay? And so this is MC Hammer's, actually, MC's uh, money in 2013. So his 10 million grew to be bigger than Jay-Z's 35. So again, we see MC Hammer doing better than Jay-Z. Um, essentially, what we're thinking about here is we're looking at how big the change in price level was. So this is inflation from 45 to 175. And uh, if you look, all we're doing is creating a proportion here. So we, if you think about 45 times what uh, gets you 175. Well, I did the math. It's actually uh, times 3.8. And so if we times by 3.8 up here on top, we get 38 million. Um, and so Jay-Z, if he was going to keep up with MC Hammer, he should be making 38 million and some 888,000, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but he's not. So what's happened is inflation, the prices of things, have outpaced uh, the nominal uh, wage that Jay-Z earns, and I don't know if we looked at this in class, but it's just kind of a simple way to think about it. If the dollar, if you look at this, it tells you the nominal wage versus inflation. So if your nominal wage, the dollar value, with no representation, no thought, no consideration about how much stuff costs, increases faster than inflation. Go back to your photo here. So this is your salary. If your nominal wage grows faster, he's bigger than these guys over here, how are you going to feel? Hopefully you feel really good because your real wage is going up. So here's the example, right? Your wage went up by 50% while inflation, the price of stuff, only went up 10%. Man, that's great. You feel like you got 40% more money. Uh, here, they're the same. Inflation and your wage, your nominal wage have gone up, so it's really... A wash you don't feel any better or any worse but down here your wage has only gone up 10 percent but man the price of everything you bought goes up 50 percent you feel stinky so your real wage has gone down so hopefully that helps you conceptualize that a little bit better uh, now your job is this guy so try to do it both ways see what alex rodriguez is 33 million was worth back in 1931 and see what Babe Bruce 80,000 was worth in 2007. Um, and I'll actually email you the answers uh, tomorrow night or tonight or whenever you're supposed to get them. I'll get it to you. Uh, and finally, an interesting way, like if I ask you what movie made more money than any other movie, some of you might tell me like Batman or uh, yeah, yeah, Batman, yeah, yeah, Batman. Uh, or you might tell me, uh, I don't know, some other good movie lately. Who knows? Hang on. Miss Christian, what, what's a popular movie? Okay, Miss Christian's old too, so she doesn't know any popular movies. So popular movie that you know about. The new Star Wars movie, maybe. Uh, maybe it made the most money ever. Probably not. You probably won't even guess the movie that's made the most money ever because it was released in like the 1940s, all right? Now, that's adjusted for inflation. Uh, I'll give you a little extra credit if you find out what it is, all right? 
Uh, but do this problem, check your answers, and let me know how you're doing. Uh, have a good day.